Up today, we're gonna slime the beast. Hey everybody, it's Still Do Tony. Okay, so these fat tire bikes got these big ass tires on them. Yeah, but when you get a hole in them, how are you gonna deal with that? Well, I don't want to deal with getting a hole in it out in the wilderness or where the heck I'm at, so I got some of this. And no, I'm not affiliated with these guys, uh, but this stuff's supposed to work. The instructions say, yeah, you should put about uh, four ounces of this stuff in here. This is a 16 ounce tube. Let's get started. Okay, so let's see how we do this here. Okay, step one, position the valve in the upper half of the tire, okay? Slowly remove the valve and cone with the tool that's in a cap. Oh wow, there's a removal tool in the cap, that's great. Um, allow the tire to fully deflate. Number four, remove object. Ooh, God, if there's a hole in it. Nasty. Right, five, reattach the hose, or attach the hose and squeeze in the slime. Reinstall valve core, just add air. Uh, roll bike to distribute the sealant. That's it. All right, let's try that. Okay, now in this, is in the cap here, is supposed to be a... Uh, a tool, and there is, look at that, there's a tool in here for removing those Schrader valves. This is excellent. So you're gonna wanna pull this off. Oh, look at that. Huh. I'm gonna shake this up. Ooh, it comes out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna shake it up with the cap on this time. So the slime came with a hose that we're gonna use to fill up the tire with uh, the slime. So the hose though is really attached here. It's stuck on there with this kind of a plastic tape label. So I'm just gonna cut it off. Cut a groove here so I can get the thing out. That was just a light cut. There, it just peeled right away. See that? Hose. Okay, take the cap back off again. Put the hose on the end. Shove it down so it stays on there good. Okay, step one, position the valve in upper half of tire. There it is. Okay, so here's the valve. That's, that's about the upper half of the tire right there. So the next thing we're gonna use, we're gonna use the inside of this cap here to remove the Schrader valve. If you got a Presta valve, you don't need to do this. You just unscrew it and it comes out. And I'll do it from this side. Just twist it to the left. Here they are. Okay, with this shot out, let me show you what this looks like. This is inside. If it shoots out, get it. Put it with the cap so you don't lose it. Save that for later. So this is a 16 ounce bottle of uh, slime and you're only supposed to put about four ounces in per tire. All right, so also just noticed on the back of this thing, on the side here, are the different, um, you know, two ounce, four ounces, eight ounces, 16 ounces, that kind of stuff. It's marked here on the back. So while you have this thing upside down, in order to know how much you're putting in, as long as you got light coming through it like I do here, I can see through the bottle and see these lines and see that, yeah, the fluid has gone down that much. Now, to put the hose on the end of this straighter valve, you have to probably push on the back of the tire like that. Kind of hold it in place. Work it around there. That's it. Now, can you see that there? Just pushing on this. Check again by holding this up to the light. I can see that yeah, looks about right. Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall the Schrader valve. It's kind of a T-shape here. It's got this little plunger on the top. And then this kind of pointy end in here. You want to put the pointy end in. Leave this little T-shape out. So I'm just going to start it by hand. And it doesn't really want to start by hand. So I will use the cap. I'm going to use the cap off of the bottle of slime. Push on the back of that tire again to hold it in place. And then just screw it on. Okay, it's snug, fairly tight, but not over cranked. That's it. Try and hold it and then. 
Okay, with this much air in it, the tire had its shape back and ooh, it's out of the bead. Oh man, the tire's out of the bead on this side. Okay, it's something I did not anticipate. Huh. Now what do you do? We Okay, so here's the new challenge. This thing's off the bead. I gotta figure out how to get this thing to hook back up again. Bummer. Not cool. I don't think this thing's gonna get the shape that it needs standing up. I'm gonna have to flip it over on its back. And it's about at this point that you start asking yourself, well, what could go wrong? I've never flipped this one over before. Let's see how this goes. It only weighs like 70 pounds. Yeah, that's not good. You have to flip it sideways. I don't know if there's any good way to flip this, but this seems to be at least a dangerous approach. Okay, so the bead is the area where the rim and the tire come together. The tire is supposed to be on the inside of the rim, not the outside. So we gotta get this back in place on both sides. There are tools that you can get for this. I do not have them. And I don't believe that a tire this fat with this much flexibility needs a tool. And it doesn't. It's back. Okay, so here's the valve. Let's put some air in this thing. Hopefully get it to stay on the bead this time. Okay, so I'm watching it. The bead's still staying on. You can see the tube starting to poke through where these cutouts are. Probably don't need this to hold this like that anymore. Let's check it. Yeah, it's on. Okay, and the last step. Okay, and the last step in this uh, slime process is to uh, spin the tire so that that slime gets rotated all the way through. Well, that's it. We slimed that thing. Okay, so there were some surprises that we learned from this too. The first one was that uh, the bike gets really unstable when you let the air out of the tires and wants to fall over. So, yeah, okay, so then the second thing was when you try to fill it back up again when it's on the ground, because that tire is so big and so flexible, it loses its bead. It loses the shape of the tire and it doesn't want to go back on very smoothly. So that second thing was you really need to turn the bike over. You turn the bike over, guess what? That solved problem number one that, that we just talked about there. Oh, and then the, uh, the fourth thing that we learned was you need three hands to do this when you're trying to do a pressure gauge like mine, you know? But if you, I suppose if you hooked up a bike pump and did it, you know, a couple hundred times that you'd probably get the pressure the same way and it maybe not be so bad. All right, so now I gotta do the front. I'm just gonna follow the same process while I got the bike upside down, fill it up with slime and, and off we go. So this is Tool Dude Tony. I want to thank you very much for watching. And uh, remember, if you're not fixing it yourself, you're paying somebody else to fix it. So get out there and fix something. So, uh, hey, enjoy. Slime away. All right, so this thing came with instructions on the back. I might read those.